Recently, the Russian government announced a new measure which has been ringing alarm bells throughout Europe. Russia will begin to accept European gas payments only in rubles, and just the announcement has sent turbulent shock waves across the gas industry. Gas futures tied to TTF, Europe's wholesale gas price, closed about 9% higher after this news surfaced. Prices are six times higher than a year ago. Many believe that changes to the payment currency would probably create significant practical difficulties for European importers of Russian gas. Russian President Vladimir Putin gave the central bank and the government a week to create robust infrastructure for buyers to acquire rubles on the domestic market. The Russian space agency Roscosmos announced that it too will insist its international partners to pay in rubles. As you all know that Russia's economy was facing a severe crisis due to the economic sanctions imposed by the Western countries, this step by the Russian government can be classified as damage control. The move will bolster the value of the Russian currency, ruble, and ease up some inflationary pressure. The ruble rose nearly 6% against the dollar to its highest level since March 18. The United States banned the import of Russian oil and gas, however, the EU, which receives around 40% of its gas supplies from Russia, has retained deliveries from Moscow. EU gas imports from Russia this year have fluctuated between 200 million to 800 million euros a day. Putin's gas for rubles plan would also bring Russia's central bank back into the global financial system, which was virtually cut off from the financial markets. Putin plans to reinstall the central bank as a key player in the market as it becomes essential for paying gas bills with ruble. Payments for Russian gas purchases are usually so large that the amount of rubles needed cannot currently be secured on foreign currencies markets. Western buyers will most likely need to go via the Bank of Russia to make their payments, essentially undercutting sanctions against the Russian central bank. The decision was made by the Russian government after Western countries have piled crippling sanctions on Moscow since it invaded Ukraine. The West froze about $300 billion of Russia's foreign currency reserves abroad. Since then Russia has created a list of unfriendly countries, which are now required to follow the gas for rubles plan. The list includes the United States, European Union member states, Britain, Japan, Canada, Norway, Singapore, South Korea, Switzerland and Ukraine. No doubt, the Russian president is also fully indulged in playing his part in this economic war with the West. Now I would like to ask you all a question, do you believe that under the pressure of Russia, Europe will rethink its sanctions, or the EU member states will try to get gas from other sources? Do answer this question in the comment section, and I will reply to it as well. Do leave a like, and comment your suggestions. Follow our Twitter account to engage on healthy discussions with us. Subscribe to stay updated, and share our videos. Till then goodbye.